All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing on the Tick Performance Shifter that they just come out with, is a all billet enclosed shifter. And we're gonna be comparing it against the MGW, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it, what I like, what I don't like, and what I like about the MGW versus this. And so we're gonna start with an unboxing. My season's coming to an end. Well, it has come to an end and parts are starting to roll in and I'm getting ready to tear the car completely down. But I did wanna go ahead and give this shifter a try because right now, my car will not hardly get into reverse whatsoever. First gear is pretty hard to get into. And I think it's got a lot to do with the MGW being an open bottom because there's been times where I can put silicone spray in the actual shifter and it gets pretty smooth. I drift my Corvette, so I'm very hard on it. We have rubber, dust, dirt that just gets all in the torque tube area and it just gets right in the bottom of the shifter. So I'm very excited about this shifter being completely enclosed. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing and we'll show you the differences. So I've had this thing for about two weeks now and we were going to the Myrtle Beach uh, K1 drift cart event and I wasn't able to actually open it. So I wasn't gonna open it until next season when the car's going back together, but I wanted to do this comparison video. I just wanna see if this thing will actually help the issue I'm actually having with a hard shift. So we got some literature. We have our invoice, cool sticker, which I already have on the vet because I have their master cylinder kit with a monster clutch. And there she is. This thing is beautiful. I really like the alignment piece they have here, really solid. That thing is solid. And I thought it was more of a red color. It's more of a kind of a burgundy, like anodized color. I really like that. So the thing about this shifter is they uh, made their own lower piece. That With the MGW, you have to pull this out of your stock box and put it in the MGW. And with this one, you don't. So I really like that about it. One thing I will say about this that I've been seeing is this rubber boot is ripping on these things. And I'm not sure if that's something they're gonna fix. Uh, I've seen a couple guys that's already got this complaining about the boot ripping. And it, it kind of feels like a thinner material as where like the MGW, I know it has a really nice boot and we'll compare that. But I honestly think this might be something they have to redesign. But we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna see and since mine's a C5, it actually comes with the piece so I can screw on a factory style shift knob. One thing I would like to see is you, you can't really find a whole lot of 9 16 by 18 thread shift knobs without being a ball. And I don't really like that. So I ordered one off Amazon. That's a Dell ring shifter that should screw right onto this. And, but in the future, I would love to see them do a different style thread maybe. see this is a really nice setup how they put that little boss on there so it actually clicks into there and if you look how that's angled when you actually put this in it's going to have a little bit of kickback i don't know if that's going to help me or hurt me so we're going to find out uh i might need this to be straight because right now with the m but that's another thing about the mgw the way it's got a piece on here, we'll look at that here in a minute. Shifter is kind of back here. So this honestly is probably gonna feel a lot better because I'm having to reach, I'm kind of having to have my elbow and stuff back to shift because it's, and it's kind of uncomfortable when drifting. So I'm curious to see how much better this is gonna feel. So this is the MGW without the shift boot on. And 
what I was saying earlier was the way they put the shifter back with my arm, when I go to pull second, I have a race seat and I kind of, sometimes I kind of hit my elbow on the seat. So the tick coming out the center, but a little tilt back is probably going to be pretty nice. And I'm not going to do a, like an install video or anything. Tick performance, I'll put a video card right here. They actually did a really good job at on a C6 doing an install. It ain't much different from a C5. In my opinion, C5 is a little easier with the, as far as the radio bezel and stuff. Be, be careful, they're very brittle. And yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can go to their video on doing an install, but it's really not bad at all. All right, so one thing I want to show you is with the bolt loose, we can get kind of a range of motion of how the shifter works. As you can see, there's like, you can hear it. You hear like gritty, a gritty sound. But that's you know, just full motion, like full circle. And you can see how filthy it is. That's just one season of driving. So with me drifting my car, you know, we are really hard on things and it is a very dirty thing. As you can see here, this thing is filthy. And what I mean by the open bottom is you can see here, there's nothing to protect it. And I honestly feel like they could have easily made an aluminum plate to cover the bottom. And with the MGW, this is your stock piece out of your lower box on your stock shifter. And you're gonna see how nasty all that is in there. And like I said, one time I pulled a shifter out and I sprayed silicone spray in because I was at an event and it was really hard to shift. Spraying silicone spray helped it a lot, but I shouldn't have to do that. And you can see the grease in there, that's stock. And that stuff just attracts dust and dirt. And when I had it in the car and I was shifting, I could feel that gritty feel, that's what that was. And one thing to note is everybody has a different feel for shifters. Honestly, I love the way a stock shifter feels. I don't like a, nice, a hard clunky shift. I might end up getting that with this, but it's one of them things. When I bought this, I honestly thought how smooth it was. It was going to be perfect. Open bottom kills it. And with how I hit my elbow on my seat, sometimes shifting, I realize this piece can come off and be flipped to where the shifter can be forward. And one thing I do like is how this is adjustable up and down. I kind of always had it in the, the higher set and just to give me a little more leverage on the shifter. But, I mean, in all honesty, this is not a bad shifter. It's definitely an upgrade from a stock shifter. So let's get this Tick Performance shifter installed and see what it feels like. So shifter's installed, and I am a big fan of it. Like the kickback just gives me NASCAR vibes, kind of like Days of Thunder when you're getting ready to drop the hammer. I'm dropping the hammer! <laughs> Big, big fan of that. It just has a really nice feel. My arm kind of rests on the console and it just, it just feels right. But the return on this thing is just phenomenal. Like, such a positive feel. Like, it's, it's just, it's never felt that great. With the old shifter I had in here before the MGW, I had to use both hands to push over on it and it was a slap wore out. Like you could have it in gear and go around with the shifter. I knew it was bad. MGW helped that, but I've never had reverse feel so good. Like none of the gears have felt this good. So I'm stoked to give this a test drive. So let's go take it for a rip. 
and I'm not gonna put nothing back together because this thing's coming right back out because the car's getting tore completely apart. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. That shifter completely changed my mind about the shifter. I, I knew the transmission needs to be going through. The transmission has 220,000 miles and not easy miles, mind you. But man, it feels like I put a transmission in the car. The shift is, like I didn't, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a difference. I knew the transmission synchros need to be going through. And like I said, I'm face plating the transmission. That's why I put the shifter in now before the car comes apart because I wanted to feel the difference and I didn't expect it to be that big of a difference. So what I'm gonna end up doing is next year when I get the car back together, it'll be first quarter, because the season for me starts up around April. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both shifters to the track. Obviously the tick will be in there. I'm gonna swap the MGW back in with the face plated transmission and we're gonna compare it that way. Cause I think just driving around, getting on it here and there, that's, that's a comparison, yes, but it's not the comparison that I need to feel because I'm a way, like I never drive that car easy. That car doesn't even get drove on the street. So I'm gonna put it to the test next season and we're gonna actually get some real data from this thing and see how it does. But for right now, I 100% recommend the Tick Shifter. So like I said, link down below is gonna be the Tick and their, their YouTube channel and they got a good install video on doing this in a C6, not much different than a C5. The tick shifter is actually smaller, so it fits in there way easier than this MGW does. And yeah, that's it. So I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one.